In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to attach leather hard clay together. First, make sure your clay is drawn out nice and leather hard, and you can use a stencil to cut out a shape that you'd like to use. For this one, I've been using my Deadpool versus Wolverine stencil uh, because it has a few nice uh, flat layers that I can attach together. So I begin by rolling out the sheet and letting that dry leather hard, and then I'll cut out my stencil uh, and then go round it with a stylus to mark in the shape. Once I've done that, I'll cut it off and now it's about attaching the clay together. So to attach clay together, you want to create a larger surface area as possible. And you can achieve this by scoring in some grooves uh, across the clay surface like you can see here. I tend to do them in opposite directions so that uh, it can uh, create that extra large uh, surface area and it just allows the clay to then really stick well and firmly together. So once I've grooved in one area, again using the stencil, I'm going to go around the edges and just mark out where the uh, shape will come into contact with the vessel itself. And when I've done that, I want to repeat the process to the other side where I begin to scour in those grooves. Uh, so you've got this kind of cross section on one side and cross section on the other side. And here you can see a bit more of a close up of how I'll do that. I don't want to make the grooves too deep because you could run the risk of creating air pockets and that's not ideal, but just enough to change the surface. Finally, the last step of the process is to add some slip and slip is just uh, dried clay crushed and then mixed with some water into a paste. I quite like having my slip nice and thick like this so I can paint it on and it gets in all the nooks and crannies and grooves that I've just made. And I'll apply this slip to both the, the mug that you can see here, but also the shape that I want to attach it to. And then once it's dried out nice and hard, those two pieces will, will bond and become uh, really firm and grip each other. Whilst they are waiting to be fired, they're still going to be very fragile. So you want to make sure that uh, you don't knock them or you're just extra, extra careful with them until they're fired. Uh, and then that will seal it all together. So you can see here, I'm just applying some really good contact down onto the edge of the clay surface before then coming in with a wooden tool and just pressing in against the join where you can see that one piece of clay joins the surface of the, the mug. And I'll work my way all the way around and make sure it's nice and sealed. The final stage is to come in with a fettle or a wet sponge and just wipe down the edges and it will cause it all to blend together. And here's the final piece. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little mini tutorial and found it useful. Uh, if it's something you want to see more of, let me know in the comments below.